Hey guys, this is Priyanka. In the last tutorial, we created the check location permission method. And I told you that we need to make one more method. So we are going to create it right now. So just scroll up and click on your class name, select your class name and click control shift A and then write override and as you can see you'll get this option and click on override methods and then you can see all the possible methods that you can override so we are going to override one method so you can just type here on request and as you can see this is the method that we need to override that is on request permission results and it takes three parameters request code permissions and grant results so just click on that and this method will get added here so this method is for handling permission request response a dialog box is presented whenever any app requests permissions so in this case this method is called so we'll override this method to check if the permission was granted or not so i'm going to remove this statement super because we are going to write our own code in here so write switch request code and write case and for the case you are going to write this request location code so in this case we need to check if the permission was granted or not so write if grant results dot length is greater than zero and grant results zero is equal to package manager dot permission granted that means the permission is granted so i'm going to write a comment here so so you'll be able to figure out what this code does so if the permission is granted then write if context compact dot check self permission and we need to pass two parameters here for the context write this and for the permission write manifest dot permission dot access find location it's equal to package manager dot permission granted then we are going to check one more thing if the client is null so if the client is null we are going to call this method build google api client so because this method is creating a new client so if the client is null then we'll create a client so right build google api client and after that write m map dot set my location enabled and pass true here and write else and this is for the case when the permission is denied then we are going to just display a message so write toast dot make text and it takes three parameters context text and duration for the context pass this for the text right permission denied and for the duration right toast dot length long dot show and then after the else right return and then if you add a few more permissions later then you can add those cases here if you need to so remember in the last tutorial we created a method check location permission but we never used this method so we are going to use it in the on create method so in the on create method after the first two statements we are going to write an if block first so write if build dot version dot sdk end greater than or equal to build dot version course 
dot m then we are going to call that method so write check location permission we need to make one more small change in the on map ready method so here i just added the default permission check so i'm going to remove it and instead of that i'm going to write if context compat dot check self permission and we pass two parameters here so this and for the permission manifest dot permission dot access find location is equal to package manager dot permission granted and these two statements will be inside the if block so that is the only change i'm going to make in the on map ready method so now we can run our application and test it so click on the run button and make sure you have attached your phone and make sure that the usb debugging is enabled if you don't know how to do that then it will take just two minutes i will add the link for the video in the description box below and as you can see the app is running perfectly you can also see the check my current location button in the upper right corner and you can zoom in and zoom out i'm not going to zoom in so if you change your location you will be able to track your location by clicking on that button so that's it for today in the next tutorial i will add some more functionality to this tutorial let me know if you want to see anything more related to the google maps tutorial you can email me or you can also leave a comment Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Thank you.